We've got other news, headlines, plus travel and weather and much more when we return. Before that, though, time for some live music. Singer-songwriter Harriet is here with her latest track, Broken For You. It's just gone 20 to 8, and I'm Luke Blackall. Playing us out tonight is Harriet, who, if you've been with us on the show for a while, you'll have heard her earlier. She's a South West London based singer songwriter. The singer Rumour has compared her voice to Karen Carpenter's, no less. But before we hear her sing again, let's hear her speak. Welcome, Harriet. Hi. Luke. Hello. Um, you're a singer songwriter, mm -hmm. up and coming. How do you. Karen Carpenter, who you've been compared to, how do you describe your music when people ask you? Well, I guess um, I grew up listening to a lot of music from the 70s. That's kind of my favourite era, um, which I guess is the Carpenters are included. Um, so I'd say a kind of modern twist on, you know, with that kind of inspired sound. Um, yeah. And what, what inspires your songs? Oh, like everything. Yourself. People, like yourself, <laughs> yeah. you never know, could end up in a song. Are you good, good or bad? I mean, that's the danger. You know? <laughs> it's true, yeah. No, but generally people and experiences, you know, sometimes you write from your own experience, you know, something that you've felt or um, experienced yourself or maybe it's someone that you're close to who's gone through something and you're inspired by something. But often I pick up lyrics like from 
movies or, you know, if a friend has said something in particular to me and there's one little line that I just thought, oh, wow, that, you know, it goes in my phone or my notebook and, yeah. And then so it comes do. out in a song. Exactly, yeah, exactly. It's, um, are you someone, I mean, I talk to lots of musicians and some are writing all the time and some don't and then go on writing frenzy. Where, where do you sit in that? So? Um, I would say the latter. Um, I used to go through, I went through a phase a few years of just writing tons and tons of stuff. Um, and it's a great thing to do because it actually just it gets your brain working in that way. Um, but for me now, I prefer to kind of leave it for a while and collect some ideas, get inspired, and then go into the studio with a, with a real focus for something um, and then bring everything together. Now you've gone for a anonymous title, but I mean you just choose one name, you're Harriet's like Madonna's Beyonce shares <laughs> in this film. What was your thinking behind just going for the catchy one name? Um, well it's my name, it's my real name. That's another rare <laughs> That's thing, are, are all those ones, I'm not sure they all are. <laughs> um, and also just simple, you know, there's not, I didn't, I didn't want to, um, I think often you do make associations with you know, the way things look and sound and whatever. So I thought if I just go for my name and keep it simple, then, yeah. Fantastic. Well, Harriet, you're going to play for us out again tonight. Uh, what will you playing for us? Tonight? I'm going to be playing my new single, First and Last, um, from my album, uh, which comes out uh, next month. And what's First and Last about? Um, it's about um, trying not to rush through life and about holding on to the moments and people that are important to you and not forgetting where you came from sound advice I'd say. Harriet thank you very much indeed. Uh, do stick with us. We'll be hearing from Harriet and her voice as I said Ruben described her as like Karen Carpenter. I can agree it sounded fantastic. Uh, do stick around. They play for us just before the end of the program. Join them then. Up next on London Live is the best of British comedians. To take you there it's Harriet with her new single First and Last. Enjoy that and have a great weekend. you said to me